Before we start today's video, I just want to say thank you for 400 subscribers. Once again, my last video that I uploaded about switching to Sony got so much love and I cannot believe how much support you guys have shown on it. It really means a lot to me. So some of my goals for this year was to reach 500 subscribers by the midway point of the year and then hopefully reach a thousand by the end of the year. And every day it's feeling more and more possible to reach those goals and it's all thanks to you guys that watch. I hope I can keep making more videos for you all and bring my own unique perspective and style here onto YouTube. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I have a lot of ideas that I'm already working on so I can't wait to bring those to you here and let's get on with the video. So I wanted to test out the animal autofocus on the Sony a7 IV on my cats. You know, see how good it works and you know, you gotta try out all the tools that your camera offers. And, you know, I wanna make a little short film with the shots that I got with the animal autofocus, you know, them going about their days and seeing how good it works. You know, see what interesting lives they like to live. And well, I gotta say they are some of the laziest cats I've ever had. <laughs> They just lay around and sleep all day. They don't really want my attention, or at least when the camera's on them. And I believe they really act lazier than they really are. So I hope you enjoy this little short film that I put together of them, or at least what I could get from the shots that I got. And after this, I'll talk more about the animal autofocus and what I think of it. Enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed that little short film, if you can even call it that, but they're just so adorable, so you know, why not leave a like for that at least. I spent the last week following them around and you know, I just wanted to see how good the animal autofocus works on them and keeping track on their eye. And you've seen the results so far. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not as sticky or, you know, close to perfect as human eye autofocus is. But I think if you wanted to film your pets around or, you know, things like that or anything with animals, you can definitely rely on this autofocus that this camera offers. I think it's really good for when you don't really want to have to think about manually focusing or, you know, worrying if the autofocus is going to act up. It sticks pretty well in most scenarios. You know, I'll talk about where I think it messes up or has trouble, but overall, I'd say it's like, you know, 85 to 90% reliable. And you know, that's pretty good. You don't have to really think about it or worry too much about the autofocus not working. I mean, even in these pictures that I've gotten, it works really well and it sticks to their eye, at least in photo mode, really well. I mean, just look at how great these images came out. I'd say my cats are pretty photogenic if I say so myself. Now, there were definitely some moments where the animal AF was slow or just didn't even recognize their eye or an animal in the frame. But I think the focus seems to not work as well when you're trying to go for a more cinematic lighting style by backlighting your cats or any animals you got. That is definitely when you'll find the most trouble with the animal autofocus trying to find the eye in the frame. And especially if you have any black animals or a black cat like Sly here, it's gonna be a struggle if the lighting isn't perfectly well lit on their face and the eye is kind of hard to see for the camera. Even if they're not much darker in the frame compared to the background, it still has some problems catching their eye or even finding an animal in the frame. With Peanut though, since you know she's a lighter color, there isn't that many problems with the animal autofocus 
focus when you're backlighting, I was still able to have moments where it was actually catching her eye and sticking the entire time. But there were still a few cases where it didn't find her eye or track that properly. There were some other instances where it wouldn't really find their eye that well, especially when I was going from a darker part of the frame to a lighter part. It just seems like it wasn't finding their eye or noticing that there was an animal in the shot. But sometimes even if it wouldn't find the eye, sometimes it would actually notice that there's an animal in the frame and just focus overall on them. And I think it still worked out pretty well. In that short film and you know all these other clips that I've shown so far, I didn't need to manual focus at all or tap on the screen to lock a focus or follow a subject that was moving. But besides the small instances, I still think the animal autofocus is incredible, it's really responsive, and I definitely think you can rely on it if you needed to. It's an incredible feature that comes in both photo and video mode, and on the Sony a7 IV, it's really amazing. I don't know how it compares to other cameras that have it, but I know for the Sony, you can definitely rely on it. Now that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, or you found Peanut and Slide to be some of the cutest cats you've seen on YouTube, why not hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Dylan, and I'll I'll see you in the next video. And the other one comes. What? You jealous? Keep going.